Welcome back. Um, we are going to explore this uh, dirty pour thing again, but this time we're going to do a bloom with it. I have my resin mixed up and I've got my three colors. We are using again the Let's Resin Maroon, the Let's Resin Rose Gold, and the Let's Resin Indian Red. And then I'm going to mix up white and we're just going to pour them all in one cup and we're going to do the circle thing. The white's going to go in there with it all together all of it together. So I'm going to go ahead and pour my clear in my mold here because it is up to temperature. just so you guys know I have an audience today not just you guys but I have an audience in my studio <laughs> I have Riley hi she was here earlier and then I have Haley hi and then I have my sister here from Colorado visiting <laughs> so they're all in here watching me today so there's no pressure whatsoever Nemo if you make a mistake it's okay <laughs> this is the first time trying any of this, so it's okay. So now I am going to mix up my colors, and I read all your comments, so we're just going to do a little bit. Like you guys said. And mix... before we pour any more. I appreciate you guys pointing that all out. Okay, let me look at my resin. Let's see if I have any bubbles. I don't see any bubbles. That's I see a hair for my though. Bun. I see a piece of hair and glitter and stuff in here though. It's okay though. Where's a piece of hair? It's over in this direction. One thing about children is they are brutally honest. Just like how your mold's pink. I see another mold it's bubble. Yeah. Pop bubble, please. But that bubble's not giving up. Okay, guys, this is where I'm going to need complete Space. silence.
was not thinking I'm going to have to pour this into another cup because I can't squeeze this cup. That was dumb. Too much. Oh, we're gonna take a risk and we're gonna pour this into this cup. I'm drawing. It's gonna get mixed up anyways. Okay, see how good I can pinch this. Probably not very good, but we're gonna try. Okay, here we go. This is probably gonna be. This half over here is already starting to bloom. <laughs> All right, 
we will be back. Okay, everyone, tell everybody bye. 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 See you on D-Mold. Good morning, everyone. I think these are finally ready to come out of these. Um, this is the, all the extra that I had left. So let's take these out first. Um, I tried to come in last night and take them out, but they just weren't ready. They were still bendy, so I just waited till this morning to take them out. Um, I forgot to mention yesterday that this technique, um, I was, I have been watching her channel for um, a while. Um, it's art by Ni Nianica, Nianica, I think is what it is, and. Um, this is just extra. I just, after I did this one, I just poured this in there because there was much left. So I just poured it in here. So that's what that looks like. Um, but anyway, I've been watching her channel for a while now and, um, she does strictly blooms. And if you want to just watch blooms, that's all she does on her channel and it's quite interesting the techniques that she uh, does with blooms and so this is inspiration by her but after I did this I went back and looked at rewatched her bloom and I think I'm gonna need to do this again because I didn't quite remember all of the steps like she did hers so I think mine is going to be a little off, but we'll see what it looks like. So um, this one turned out really well, um, but I think this one's going to be a little different, but it looks really cool. But um, I think I used a little too much mica powder because when I watched her mix her mica powder she used very little um, but it bloomed quite nicely on this side but as it was blooming I noticed this side wasn't blooming quite as much and I also think that my resin was too hot um, because with the mica powders, I, you don't need your my, or your resin doesn't need to be as hot. So I want to try this again, but I want to follow her exact regimen and how she did it. But this is pretty. I mean, it's really pretty. I like it. I just wish that this side would have bloomed like this side. So that tells me that my resin wasn't um, the same temperature all the way across. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? But it's very pretty. Very pretty. All right, let's see what this one looks like. <laughs> this is the one I'm curious about how oh, how it uh, reacted. What is with these? Got a little bubble right there, maybe. Okay. Are we ready? One, two, three. Oh my God. Look at that. I didn't even think this was even gonna remotely look like that. I mean, it's, it's pretty. You can't see any of the white. 
at all. You can see the the maroon, the rose gold, and the red, Indian red, yeah, Indian red. So I think I want to redo this and follow her um, mix with these same colors, follow her mix exactly. And she used a pigment paste like I did, but how she, how she mixed up her mica powders was totally different. So, I mean, this is pretty, very pretty. And again, you know, it kind of started to bloom right here and then it stopped and then continued to bloom. But over here, it bloomed really nice. So it has to be a, a temperature thing. That's all I can guess. But it's very pretty. This looks like a, like almost like a poinsettia right there. So I definitely want to do this again. This time I'm going to write down what she used and the order, the, the steps, the order that she put them in. Um, but when you compare these two together, I just love this, that maroon color. It's so pretty. But when you compare the two, let me bring you guys out just a little bit so we can look at these together. When you compare the two, I mean, I love this. This is beautiful. That's how I wanted the whole bloom to look. And then, you know, this one, the, I think, I think that's the rose gold. This might be the rose gold in there. But I wanted white to be in there too. And the white just kind of got taken over. So I want to try this again. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So I'm going to try this again one more time because, you know, this is experimenting for me because I've never used mica powders in a bloom before. Now on this one, you can see some white in there more, more so than you can in this one. And of course, that is a mica bubble. So we're going to try this one more time. And I think I'm going to just use this because um, I want to try to make this work instead of using a great big one. So I want to try it again using this. So stay tuned for this on the next video because I want to try this again. So, all right guys, stay tuned for the next video. We're going to do this again. I want to get it right. <laughs> all right guys, see you on the next video. Bye.